Alright, we're up here at our uh, buddy Mark's uh, museum. You guys were here last year with us. Mike was uh, fixing his generator here. What year is that, Mike? Oh, what year is that, Mark? Mark? Uh, probably turn of century era. Yeah. Right, yeah. turn of century. 1800s? Uh, teens. Teens. Yeah, probably. Uh, 1800 teens, teens, 19s. Yeah, yeah right. But anyway, yeah. Uh, Mike was uh, going to repair it, but you know, you can't do a field repair on this. And Mark uh, tried, he, he going to try to get these, uh, what do you call it, Mike? Re, uh, so we, re lacquered? We had, we had leakage from the windings on the armature to ground or to the shaft. And uh, we think that the armature windings may have gotten hot at some point, some of the insulation is, is damaged. Um, Mark, Mark looked into having the armature re-insulated, pretty much having it dipped in varnish and then baked, you know, up. Right, dipped under that's what I was looking for, re-insulated. Re right, re-insulated now. Yeah, Mike, Mike thinks that this, this was, had a fire at one time. Not fire, but got hot. Burned up, there, there yeah. There was a short on the, on the line and... Uh, it was impaired, damaged. Yeah, so, so. but um, uh, he wasn't able, you weren't able to get anybody to do it for you, Mark. They didn't want to touch it no. unless they were going to completely strip it and rewind it, right? Because of... Uh, fear of there being asbestos in the insulation and it the asbestos contaminating their their varnish so right. you know, we're, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna try to power right. it up because the leakage right. was minimal it was a hundred and I, I, we'll, we'll check it again but I think it was 168 thousand ohms leakage to the ground or to, to, the, to the frame so we'll yeah. see I mean that was that was with a you know a, a, a digital molding meter with only a 9 volt battery, so we might encounter some problems when we when we energize it because you're going to have 120 volts potential to ground. So we might we might have a higher leakage current. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that pretty closely. Right. So. And there's a couple things that can happen, right? Yeah. Well, we certainly don't want to damage anything. Um, the, the rotor may ha may already be compromised. We we don't want to damage the fields, but you, this what we're going to do is not going to damage the fields. There's, right. there's no way we can damage the fields. Right? So, yeah. So we're going to give it a try and start it up. Yeah. Well, we have, i got a thermal camera. Um, so once we spit it up and we start applying uh, excitation, uh, we'll pull the thermal camera out and we'll watch the rotor and make sure we don't have any abnormal heating occurring while we're, while we're running with no load. If, if while we're running with no load, making 120, we see heat building up, we're going we're gonna to shut it down because we don't want to... We don't want to have catastrophic failure. Right. So. Oh, well. Right? All right. Is that clear? You, yeah. Well, at least you, you update them. Let them know what's going on. So, right. Like I said, it's been, been a year since this, uh, our last video. But uh, we got our little buddy Colin over here. Hey, Sorry, Bruce. Colin. I didn't mean to catch a pick in your nose. But you got What's your channel? Uh, Come over Colin. here. You're standing. What? This is 101. Camera oh. work 101. You don't <laughs> shoot into the light. All right. All right. <laughs> Noted. What's it? What's your uh, channel? Colin underscore five eight three. Okay, he's he's probably going to do a little bit of video on this himself. So, what I don't catch, you guys might catch over on his channel. Was it just so, one? It was just one. Let me leave him alone for a little bit so he can uh, do some work. All right. Yeah, I'll give you guys another uh, refresher on what he has here. This here's. Uh, you got the, just some basic hand tools, Mark. Bruce, Bruce Macbeth. This is what's running the generator. And you got, you got wire, like hookup wire. So you might hear a high pitched sound. That's just a, an air leak that uh, we're not going to have him fixed because it's going to take too long. But uh, he's got some big stuff here. Fairbanks. What was this one called, Mike? A Merrick? Yeah, Myrick. Myrick, Merrick. Yeah, I mean, these, these engines are so high end, I, I, I'm not familiar with any of them really. Unless what it says, like an auto. That's crazy. So let's take a, let's take a little walk back here. And a foos. You know, stuff like this you don't see. You don't see shows. Not only because they're so big. You might see them at the museum. But uh, nobody, nobody brings them to shows. Another foos. Oh. oh, he just fixed that air leak or whatever it was. Thank you, Mark. Here's a, here's a charter. Here's kind of stuff you don't see. Let me try and squeeze back here. And this one, you know, I've never even heard of this one. Blackstone, the Blackstone oil engine. I think yeah, our other buddy Joe was trying to start this earlier. 
He's not here right now. I think he might be picking up dinner, but when he comes back, we might see this one running. He really did a nice job with his place. And it's still, it's a work in progress. All kinds of collectibles here. I don't even know what the story is on this, but it's uh, somebody did a beautiful job restoring it. All right. I'll turn his back on when uh, Mike gets a little further. He's a bulldog. All right. All right, for the most part, it's uh, nice and quiet up here, but we are on a main road. You know, this is a highway here, double line in the middle. So every once in a while it goes by, you're going to hear you're gonna hear some noise. But uh, there's not much we can do about it. As a matter of fact, you'll hear it now. It comes a, a tractor trailer, a logging truck or something. Don't know what it is, but you hear how noisy it is. But that's what we're dealing with, so we're going to keep the door open. Alright, I don't know how Mike's doing here, but it might get a little loud here because a whole bunch of people are going to show up, so uh, we'll do the best we can. But uh, I seen something interesting down here, and uh, until Mike put the bucket in front of it, there we go. So it looked like a spittoon from the 1800s. It says uh, $5 cigars on there or something. Five cents. Five cents. You're right. Thank you, Colin. Yep. A little disgusting, but it is what it is. All right. All right. I think uh, Mike's uh, hitting an impasse here. He's, uh, not an impasse. Not an impasse, nope. but uh, Just an outpass. A step in the road. <clears throat> okay, here we go. in the road. All right. So, down. Right now. You see that? Yeah. All right. So, I've got one lead right, connected. Right what are you doing? I'm sorry about that. I'm right. trying to hold it. All right. So. We got one lead of the meter on one of the armature output wires sitting down there. Right? All right, right. The other armature output is isolated. And the other meter lead is on frame ground. Right. So right now we've got 256 ohms, ohms. leakage to ground right now. Mm -hmm. That's bad. Right. All right. Right. So I recall when we were here back in October that we had issues with these insulating discs and the block on these brush rigs. Right. So watch this. I'm okay. going to loosen this up. Loosen it? Right? Watch. Wow. Now we're at 10, 11 kilo ohms. Right? right. So 9, 10,000 ohms. Crank it back down. 200 ohms. So we got major leakage right. there. And this, that's just with a 9 volt battery. Imagine what you're going to have when you pump 125 volts above ground through there. Right. Bad news. Yeah. So, we're going to take this apart and inspect it closely and see if we can salvage these discs. I have a feeling we're not going to be able to. We're going to have to make some new ones tonight. Hopefully the block. Let's let's take it apart. You rolling? You rolling? Oh, yeah, you're, you're on. All right. Action. Action. So I'm going to pull this off. And I remember, yep, that pops off of there. And this whole brush rig has to wiggle on out. Wiggle, wiggle out. Come on. Almost there. There, there you go. All right. So this whole thing right here is a fibrous block, you can see. Probably, I, I don't know, fibrous asbestos maybe? <laughs> yeah, that's asbestos. Yeah. There you go. So, so it's, that's, that's, what, that's what you're looking at. So maybe... We'll try to clean it with some. We'll try to clean it with some brake clean and, and some then blow scotch it away. Bright. Yeah, blow it. You know. <laughs> we should do that. We'll get you have any Yeah, really. So, really, in order to make this thing right, you just you, they need to be remade. Mm -hmm. So you make these out of uh, acetal or, or Delrin. Delrin. Yeah. Yep. You can make them out of fiber if you wanted to, but or uh, phenolic. Any, anything that, that, that would resin be reinforced uh, phenolic. So let me get to cleaning this. What about rubber? You don't want to use rubber because these can't vibrate. Okay. They have to be okay. held steady. Right, you don't right. want any vibration here. Okay. So, uh, uh, there you go. So, you know, somebody was going to ask that question. Well, I'm glad I did. Uh, I'm right. Huh. Let's get the clean. All right. Let me, let me get out of your way, buddy. All right. We're outside here. Mark's got uh, like half a dozen C boxes, and some of them are full of some high end engines here. This one here. Let me turn the light on. I don't know how well you guys will see that. It's a, a big Fairbanks. I don't know exactly what size, but uh, 
see what else he got in here. Back there he has uh, more engines, but right here is a old model Model T, Model TT. It's a truck, pickup truck. Pretty cool. I don't know if I can get back there to look at it, but hold on, hold on, guys. Do I have the light on? Yeah. Okay. Huh. Very interesting. I can't tell. I can't tell if it's uh, original, but looks to be old there. Oh, you guys can't see this. I know it's dark, but uh, he's got another another six engines here. But we came back here to see this Model T. -T. Sorry for the lighting, but that's all we got, man. That's all we got. All right, let me get out of here. I'm choking on on mouse poo. All right. We'll see you outside. All right, we got a March start of food stuff for us here. It's quiet because they have the exhaust run outside. And Governor Ball there. There's the exhaust going through that pipe there. Out the wall. There's a neat little feature. Little bird. Yeah, three wheels. Very cool. You can't even hear this thing on. It's sort of like singing. Very cool. Yeah, sorry, I'm not getting that great of footage because uh, everything is pretty tight, but uh, we're doing the best we can here for you. Yeah. Yeah. Try and start the old Fairbanks there. Yeah, usually, usually stuff doesn't start when you're watching it, so. Especially when you got two guys videoing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> got my little apprentice here. Look at him. Look at him with his camera. There you go. Oh. oh. <laughs> Cam back. He actually caught me without my camera. Hmm. Using the cell phone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maybe we'll get him after he starts it. Checking our buddy here. What's this, Mike? Some kind of uh, load load panel or something? Uh, no, that, we're not using that for load. Uh, we don't have any kind of voltage regulation or means to control the output voltage. Uh, so what that is is just a bunch of light bulb sockets in parallel. And I have an assortment of wattages of bulbs that we will install in there and switch on and off to control the amount of current that passes through the shunt field. Once we get our output voltage where we want it, we can take a, a voltage and current, uh, or a voltage drop reading across, and a current reading across those bulbs to determine how much resistance those bulbs have added to the field circuit so we can size the rheostat. You know, what kind of you know, wattage are you talking? I have a couple of 300 watt bulbs, a couple of 200 watt bulbs, and then a couple of like 10 yeah. watt bulbs. Two 300s, two 200s. Yeah, I don't know exactly what I brought with me, but it's an assortment. It's going to be pretty bright. Well, it probably won't be, to be honest with you. Oh, because they're it's not going to be that bright. Provide resistance. They, they'll probably glow fairly dimly huh. for the most part. Interesting. Yeah. But again, there, it's not it's, it's not to per, to put load on the generator. It's to regulate the output voltage. Oh, so, okay. I, see, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. All right. I don't think it's gonna be much longer. No, I need a little bit more wire to hook up. I gotta put my meters in, and um, we'll go from there. All right. All right.
As you were, mate. Right now. I think he's gonna try and start his Blackstone back there. Look at you guys there, stand, jump on the, the flywheels. Get a rhythm going. <clears throat> Here we go. Shut you off till uh, he starts it. A lot involved here. Yeah, they got it running, but uh, if these guys get out of the way, I'll, I'll turn this back on. I think they were going to fit next, next to each other. <laughs> they don't, not much room, but they fit. They fit. Right, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. What is that? 16th? Oh, yeah, got to get a feeler gauge here. There we go. It's funny. <laughs> It was planned that way. Well, it's funny, you know, that's a 300 watt bulb right there. So is this. It's a different manufacturer, you know. Oh, wow. So it, it looks it's physically bigger, but it's the same water. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think more, uh, Mike is uh, pretty much ready to go here, and they're going to start. to try and start the engine. Yeah. Just about. Got some light bulbs for a test bank there. Okay. You start the engine up and see what happens, I guess. It's the Bruce Macbeth. They're going to start that up and use that to run a generator. We've got air hooked up to it. This is an air start, I think. It's going to be a little loud in here, but we'll do the best we can. Funny, you can't see any smoke in here, but you look through the camera. <laughs> this place is loud as hell. There we go. Mike's looking it over. I think he's got a couple meters hooked up down here. Two, uh, one, got one DC volt, one DC ammeter, and he's got his uh, fluke over here. So. Is that good, Mike? Is that? Is that good? Yeah, we got some residual voltage. 
So I got my polarity remote, so this is positive over here. I'm just going to swap my needle to so swap polarity correct. So this is negative. engine up a little bit and uh, Mike says uh, he's getting about 80 volts. It's just lowered a little bit.
checking out. Well, it's rough. I mean, it needs, it's, it it's needs dirty. to be taken apart and clean, you know? Yeah. It's kind of hard to make something work when everything's dirty, you know? Exactly. So. Oh, well. Mm. See if we can make some sparks here. Right? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> that was about uh, two inches long. Two inches oh, at least. Long. Yeah, oh, no, over here was about back. four or five. A lot of nothings in them fields. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody likes fire. Alright, so what we need to do is figure out. Mike's going to try and put a load on this thing. This is the AC. This is a little sketchy here. AC, DC. Yeah, a little. Is it Katron approved? <laughs> <laughs> I should send him oh, a picture of this. It's going to be on YouTube. He's, gonna, he's, gonna, he's never going to answer it. <laughs> I think he's ready to put a load on it. See that again, Mike. Gonna put an ammeter on it and then uh, see how it's just rolling. It actually says right on it, AC or DC. Well, anything that has a Marx motor, you can run off DC. Like drills and. Four amps! Four amps out of 292. Huh. Let's see when it pulls on start. You know what? Let's do a little bit of work with it. That's something to grind on. You got something you want wire wheeled, Mark? <laughs> Let's do a little bit of work with it. Five and a half, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You hit 13 for a second. You hit 10 and a half. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you hit 12. You hit 12. The highest I saw was 13. So we right, did, did work. We did our business. Yeah, right. right. Let's go up here and take a closer look at this thing. Who's the best? What do you think? Throw off a little bit of heat. Shut it down there. We hear it winding down. I have to tell not quite done yet. Okay. So we're shutting down. What I want to test to see if this thing will build on its own at full field, like from a with well, from, from a dead stop, which it should. So I'm going to close the field. I'm going to short the field directly. The uh, the shunt field. You happy with your results so far? Yeah, I think it's a good. I think it'll be alright. It is for for what it is. So all right. So we're sh sh the field is shorted. The bulbs are all off. Let's see what kind of heat we got in here. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's all, only barely warm. Hmm. Commentator, commentator got some. Gonna check the attack here, see what we get. Got up to 550. Let's get around. Let's get around, everybody. Yep. Yeah. 
technology for the win. <laughs> How many volts got, Mike? 86. Oh, right around five now. To Mike, the top. That's pretty good. Pretty good, man. Remember these engines are over 100 years old. No. Same with a generator. Yeah. All right. What's today's date, Colin? What? 15th, 16th, oh. June. 16th. June 16th, and it's about uh, 9:15 in the evening, and it's still light out. Look at the nice cloud formations there. Pretty good. It's gonna it's, it's gonna be light till at least 20 after. That's pretty cool. Love it. Yeah. But you could stay up later working outside on projects. I think after <laughs> after the 21st it starts changing. All right. I think we're shutting down. This is the second time. There you go. Well, what do you think, Mike? What's the conclusion here, buddy? Uh, I think that it's it's the last one left in it. Yeah, so that's the life left in it. Looks like it got hot, but it survived. Whatever happened to it in the past, it survived, and uh, I think it'll be a great uh, display unit for sure. That's good. Yeah. And to be able to use it, make some electricity out here. I don't know if I want to power the old mill with it, but yeah. it'll, it'll do some work around here. Mark, as, for, as soon as we leave, he's gonna. Transfer everything over to this thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, oh, yeah. so there you go. We're going to end it here. We say, guys, enough of this? Enough of this. All right.